Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today the demo tractor has arrived a JCB Fast Track 3220 Just look, just Fast First of Track all, it's not red Yeah <laughs> It does, I suppose it is a bit of a change in the yard but I just I always like the, the Fast Track but anyways we're here with Rob Russell and Caelan Russell um, from Russell Fast Tracks they have kindly sent up the Fast Track to us to give it a bit of a demo see what we can do we're going to be putting on the harrow on a minute to go do a bit of harrowing and just give it a bit of a run just really excited now really really excited so um if you could give us a just a bit of a run down through it because i've never been this close to a fast track in my life and i know little to nothing about them so can give a run through the horses and, yeah, and bits about it i don't mind well it's 2004 3220 with a 5.9 litre cummins engine and 2004 this one with only two and a half thousand hours oh yeah that this is the big thing we've, we've been teasing a few people recently on facebook that there's a tractor coming with two and a half thousand yeah hours. this is it what what speed is it okay what it is but this tractor here is 65k on the road 65 yeah. and it's on 540 540.30s 540.30s so brand new bkt tires there's the brand on the aggregate look a little bit of rust on wheels over time actually yeah. got shot blast these fitted four new tires you can see the little furry bits on the, yeah. on the corners i haven't even worn them off yet <laughs> day in the field will probably change that so same size tires front and rear uh you have uh what else we say uh it's not your conventional tracker no all-round suspension uh, outboard brakes probably the back axle is the easiest place to see them so your back axle is separate yeah so, so you uh, have one we, chassis between the two yeah yeah. And we, uh, you have, your suspension is on the front I'm and back axle. Yeah. Yeah. Struts here. Yeah. With spheres from it, and that's how we have our suspension on the back. Yeah. They use the technology from Citroen cars. There's literally Citroen stamps on the accumulators or uh, suspension spheres there. They have nitrogen gas in them, charge up to about 30 bar pressure. And the gas on top of the hydraulic strut is your cushion, it is your spring. Yeah. So um, the tractors are self leveling, you can adjust the height up and down, or if you put something mounted on the chassis and it'll go down, it will compensate for it and build itself back up. So you'll see them in the morning building up, some lads say, oh, the air builds up, it's not air building up, it's hydraulic pressure against the nitrogen gas, and that is your. That spring. creates the suspension. Yeah, but on the front, it's a fairly, I'm going to say, conventional sort of a setup of uh, coil springs. So that's fairly easy to understand. Yeah. Uh, Part of what we're doing today is to find out what's wrong with this tractor, yeah. if anything. Yeah. So we've gone through, given a fairly good service and new tires and a little bit of polish and a little bit of loving in that respect. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna gonna find the vans wrong. But hopefully there'll be very little wrong with. In fact, you'll yeah. be the lad that'll be the judge of that at the end of the next day. Yeah, so. I, 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 I can't wait to get using it. Of, of all the tractors, brands that's out there, if I wasn't a Massey, I'd, I, I think I'd have to get a fast track. Well, we've a wee soft spot for the Massey ourselves. Yeah. No doubt about that. I don't know about you say that, Kenny. I don't think you've much of a Massey back. I was 60 when 80 and I wasn't too mother of So that's probably my, my interest in what you guys are at here with the, or not with the fast with the Masseys. Yeah. The first uh, video I copped with the name Farmer Phil on YouTube was looking up a video. I think you might tell me different, but I think it was your dad's Massey 298. The oh, the 298 with the 717 harvester. Yeah, you yes. had a, yes, yes. That was cutting out in that field out there. What year was that? 95. The door opens the other way. Yeah, so when you're up at that sort of speed, the doors have to open out. No. Yeah, because if they Legally. were open the other way, they... it's a legal thing in certain countries. Apparently. Oh, right. Uh, I think Germany is a country that the, yeah. the, the doors couldn't Couldn't open, open suicide, suicide doors. Suicide doors, yeah. 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 Not sure. Such a name. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Such uh, a name. Yeah, so jump up there, Caleb. So definitely a very roomy cab, like, as you can see, there you have the exact same seat as the driver. When you is it? Yeah, only minus the seat suspension. And this year we, we have three ranges, yeah, six manual gears, and then three power shafts. And if you're feeling lazy as well, there's an auto for the power shaft as well. So when you just put your foot down, it just goes no, up through them, is it? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, same draft control is used in a lot of Massey Fogsons as well, if you're familiar yeah. with that panel. Hitch Tronic Helm is the official name. Yeah. And we have our own spur valve conversion plan. Because the original ones at the factory from Bosch themselves weren't that reliable. So we do our own conversion. And we're still keeping it electronic as well, because there's a lot of companies that do do them, but they left a big manual leave us. So that's our own thing. Oh, yeah, we have a 
I'm going to say hello to the camera. <laughs> so, as you can see out behind you, there's not much you can see the hitch. Yeah, it's up there with a Zeta for the view of the hitch. Like, I mean, it's a bit of an art from putting on a hitch. You just go back till you feel it starting to hit it and then you're trying to lift it. But, but we fed. Yeah, we've had our own camera here. Oh, so you can see it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's it's only safe with your camera. Yeah. So it's full deck of weights on this one. Not sure is that a good idea or a bad idea to land around here. You tell me. Well, it takes three ton is the hara now, so it oh. takes a lot to counterbalance it. Well, the good thing about this is the most of the weight of a fabric is already on the front because the engine's so far forward. Yeah. And lads have described the back as light, like just that. Caleb's, uh, Caleb's claim to fame on YouTube is what, probably 100,000 plus views. Yeah. Caleb drifted in a fast track. <laughs> drifted? Yeah. And is that video on YouTube? It's on yeah. YouTube. Hit the diff, uh, hit, Caleb. Hit, hit the the diff, diff Caleb. Caleb. Yeah. So you can go check that out <laughs> if you want. <laughs> I'm sure you want to really do. <laughs> and that was only a little 2135, the, the smallest, the baby fast, well, not yeah. the smallest, but was, 125 yeah, a little Perkins oh. engine. It's not like things, it'd be pretty much like a 6290 there, right? So, uh, yeah, Cummins 5.9, 24 valve head, uh, uses a electronic Bosch fuel pump, a VP44, it's in the 64.99, yeah, it's a yeah. version of that pump. So it's a little bit advanced for its time, it's a step up from the old Is it truck. common rail? No, it's not common rail, but it's tier two. Tier so two. you are kind of going through the different st stages yeah. of emissions. So it wasn't until the next model, the 3230 came out, you had the full common rail, but it was a new generation engine, the 6.7. So yeah. that's the next tractor. We'll, we'll talk about them another day. Yeah. This is the 5.9, but no, these are fantastic. That engine is quite rare in Europe. The, not Cummins now, I'm on it, but this version of this engine. The only tractor we know of it being in is, uh, what's McCormick. that? It's a McCormick. MT, is it M M MTX. MTX 200. Yeah. After that, you'd have to go probably looking in Dodge Ram pickup trucks in the States before so you see that engine. Th that's it, I think we'll get the harrow on it now and Fire up. see yeah. what it's able to do. Yeah. So now we are in the field and we're here with Caleb and he's going to set up the tractor and show me how to work it so I can do a full day's harrowing tomorrow. So it's going to be fun, I'm excited now. Right in the center of the street here. So with that there, you have to put your hand on up a small bit. Yeah. And then you can turn this on to a higher speed. And you can set it to whatever speed you want. Say we go for 1700. Yeah. So I can pick that switch. And that can bring it back to, to idle on the on the headlands. Yeah, yeah. So I can pick that and straight yeah. up that. So might have to change the top link to suit the tractor, but it should be all right. Yeah, yeah. I just got the thingy up. Now, if you're picking stones here, as I see. Yeah, there's just a, just a few stones. I had the harrow set up right for the 64.99 that I wouldn't. Well, I might have to lengthen the top link yeah, so yeah. that I had press back on the crumblers to lift them. Yeah, I can lean them forward a bit much there. Yeah. That goes up, that won't go down.
And he leaves the tractor in the way. <laughs> oh, fucking typical. It's all in the fine tuning. It is, it is. It takes a while, but yeah. Once you have it set, it's like double. There's one notch on the on the on the difference made here now. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's perfect. We need more, yeah. Doing a doing a good job there, oh, like for you. one round. Just that bit he's setting up, though. That was just. Yeah. Yeah, he just I set the the harrow the harrow the crumblers down a bit more than normal, but that's well, just what, to compensate for the. How would you work on is that pure the house safety ground? Yeah. I'm doing a lovely job. Of yeah. It is. Nice over go. and drop. Yeah. You're familiar with the draft? Yeah. The draft lever there. Draft and up and down. Yeah. And that's that's where I would think the drop speed set at lowest there yeah, for. What gear are you for? in now? I was in third gear. Third gear. So third gear. Yeah. Just get used to it now, is the, the trick. Yeah, yeah, exactly.
JCB Fast Track 3220 and first impressions are good, quite good now. Very much liking it. Going every bit as fast, 12k here, no, no bother to it at all. It is the same caliber of tractor as the 6499, as in horse-wise. Oh, and that's the reason why I don't do too much recording. Because, yeah. So you're not going to see a whole lot of footage of heroin in this video or that, because I'm just trying to get used to the machine. Because you need to be comfortable before you pull out the camera otherwise there's too much going on for you to be able to do everything and do everything correctly so but no first impressions are very very good cloud through the wet spots no bother to it harrowing up with hair traveling same speed the level of comfort is absolutely unbelievable cloud ground is normally rough traveling now but with this you don't feel anything i'm about to hit a major rut here now that's all that is. That's that's like the raw pound of fur right now. That's what that is, and just proves through. I suppose one of the big things for getting used to on this is the steering is heavy. Is the way I put. How I was told why it's not and a standard hydrostatic steering. I think is what it is. It's a very very responsive. Like there's no swinging it left right left right. It's, dead on so it is and it does feel a little bit heavy and then I just have to get used to pushing all my buttons because I actually got quite used to the 6499 and just pushing the one button all the time here I've got three things to do I have to slow down to drop my revs I have to lift the harrow there are three things I have to do to get turned on the head down just trembling wherever it needs it's a bit again used to but as I said first impressions very nice tractor, very very nice tractor. Yeah, glad to have now. I'm nearly finished here now, so I'm going to finish out Harrow in this field, leave a ray for someone tomorrow, and we're going to bond the dung, dung, dung spreader, and we're going to make another video. Which, yeah, really just, this is quite a nice ride, so this, and here comes the rock again. It's the height of comfort. The height of comfort. testing out just to see how smooth this is going crossways across the, the ground from last year so all the ruts and that so it was plowed from where to where it was plowed time. going that way so we'll go nearly like we're, we're going out completely crossways so it should be this is bad advice now to go. Uh, yeah this you, <laughs> if you're going this way is a sure way of rattling all the bones in you so we're going for 40 of this and we were in the other most of the majority of the time on the last field The uncle there doing his thing. He's plowing away there. He's making good work. The happiest man in Ireland out here. Yeah. So I have to get the dung out and that now when we're finished here. Gear. You made a little sweat, but we're yeah. going to go back. There's not a bit of water, but Jesus, horse smooth. There's 18k again, and we're out of field. One last pass before we. Yeah, one more, and we, we leave it at that. Before they send the lads in the white coats around for us. Yes. Or I get a, 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 a grilling or a phone call. <laughs> Don't know which would be worse. There's some young lads out there stealing this fast <laughs> tracker, they're trying to wreck it. Off we go forth here again, blow down. Mm -hmm. 
a good left and I don't want to break me link because you know, yeah. I'll have to go home and find some more but uh, that was a bit of crack wasn't it? That was, that, that, <laughs> just how smooth that is just, like you could have held a cup of tea in your hand and you weren't going to spill it and that's doing 25k <laughs> across, the wrong way across the field, across grain. That's, that's not good advice what we just done. No, <laughs> that's hard on man, machine and everything. Everything yeah, but it's certainly good fun on a bank holiday weekend. Yes, and it no, no, just there is no pubs open. We yeah. have to blow off steam somehow. Smooth. It's amazing. Well, I'm after doing that. I think it's only fair that you drive it and I'm in the yeah. passenger seat, yeah? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go. How about there and we'll, we'll swap over? Sure thing, you get through ground fierce quick that way. You'd be home early. You wouldn't be walking to three in the morning. You'd be home at eight o'clock in the evening. That ready going? Yeah. <laughs> you were def The only thing against us was you know when you're climbing the hill. Yeah, and when you hit the wet spot, you the, the pull on the tractor come on us. We were between what fifteen k minimum pulling up the hill and yeah, twenty when twenty on the good ground. Yeah. And all we were missing was another gear. Yeah, yeah, that's literally <laughs> you'd be going for fifth. That was a bit of crack. Yeah, yeah. That's it anyway. To be spread. Yeah. Dumb to be flown. Will you take over? <laughs> 